Are you an Oblivion player that struggles with the game's leveling system, or someone who just wants to enjoy this game in a new way? Well, if that sounds familiar, then you've come to the right place, because in today's video we'll be showcasing a mod that changes every aspect of character progression, and it's an experience that you won't want to miss. Before we hop into the mod, let's quickly recap how leveling works in Oblivion. When creating your character, you will choose seven major skills that, when used, will level up naturally as you play. Once you reach 10 skill ups across these seven skills, your character will be able to increase their overall level, and then similar to how leveling works in Morrowind, you'll be able to select three attributes you'd like to increase with the modifier determined by the skills you raised during your last level. So why is this an issue? Well, if you're the kind of player that doesn't like to keep track of their attribute bonuses or what skills they're leveling, or you simply like a more varied playstyle, then you typically won't be getting plus fours and plus fives, which could cause your attribute levels to lag behind. And since Oblivion's enemies scale along with you, this could eventually make combat gruelingly difficult. In fact, this issue is so common in the community that it even has its own section on the Oblivion leveling UESP page titled The Leveling Problem. And that is where today's mod comes in. The Oblivion XP update overhauls every aspect of character progression in the game and replaces the used to gain system we are all familiar with with something you'd find in a more traditional RPG like the older Fallouts. So what this means for your Oblivion experience now is that instead of receiving experience towards a skill level up and then having that skill, if it's a major, trigger an overall level up, you instead receive general experience for every act you do, from killing an enemy, to creating a potion, to discovering new locations on the map. Then, that general XP, like in traditional RPGs, triggers a level up and you distribute a number of attribute and skill points however you would like. Something that's very hard to imagine doing in Oblivion, I must admit until you try it out for yourself. With the Oblivion XP update installed, with each level increase, you'll be given 13 attribute points that you can distribute however you would like, giving free reign over your build path regardless of the skills you're using at that time. You're also given 48 skill points to spread across your skill attributes and do those level ups as well, buying them for either two points for a skill in the tree that you're specialized in, and four points for skills that you are not specialized in. So much like in vanilla Oblivion, it is much harder to level up skills that you are not specialized in. So that choice at the beginning of the game still does have some pretty significant impacts. And although 48 as a number just seems a little high when you're talking about skill ups, it actually only translates to 24 skill increases with, again, a specialized skill, or 12 skill increases across skills you're not specialized in. So don't let that number fool you as it does seem a little high at first glance. It's over 9,000! Now this flat point per level up system means there's no more tracking required to make sure you get those plus five modifier increases and no need to keep note of the attribute governing each skill. And now that you have a precision approach to leveling, this essentially solves the leveling problem as well, since you can level effectively regardless of how you're playing and what skills you're using at that time. But this mod gets even better from there because you can actually use this on any of your existing characters. That's right, no new fresh save required for an even almost total character progression overhaul. So how does Oblivion XP pull this off? After leveling up your 100 hour hero the first time after Oblivion XP is installed, you'll be granted a level equivalent number of attribute points and skill points to then redistribute across your character and fully integrate them into the new game system. After leveling up, you can simply continue on your path, but now with the shiny new features and functionality of Oblivion XP, which is pretty sweet, I must say, and massive hats off to the modders for integrating existing characters into this mod. Now, reinventing the leveling system is awe-inspiring enough, and integrating existing characters into the process is just icing on the cake. But with Oblivion XP, the fun doesn't stop there. Much like the Mad Leveler mod I showcased for Marwind, Oblivion XP is completely customizable down to the littlest nitty-gritty detail you can imagine. Oblivion XP comes with an exhaustive settings file that includes instructions on how to alter each variable associated with progression, explains what each setting does, and even includes copies of all the default values so that you can revert your latest round of experimentation. The list really does go on and will keep my more engineering-minded, experimenting viewers busy for a couple weekends to come, optimizing or destroying <laughs> their game experience. Now, as for the player experience versus vanilla with Oblivion XP, I did do a number of play tests both on and off stream with the mod installed. Coffee Night Gaming at twitch.tv. Be sure to drop a follow so you can catch me live. So I'll share some of my own personal impressions now that the features are out of the way. 
First off, the mod really does change the sense of progression in Oblivion. I personally felt that it slowed down my level ups, which is actually the exact opposite of what I thought was going to happen. Now, this isn't necessarily a problem since everything in Oblivion scales with you and your time in game doesn't really matter, but it is something that I thought was worthy of noting. Additionally, I felt that some of the XP rewards were a little bit skewed. I felt quests should reward a little more XP than they did, just because of the time involved, and that discovering locations should have rewarded a little less since there's so many in the game. But if this is something that bothered you enough or bothered me enough, which it didn't, you could hop into that settings file like I mentioned and tweak every piece of this so that you get the perfect Oblivion experience you've always been dreaming of. Now on the positive side of things, I felt as an alternative that the point buying system worked really, really well and just gave you that precision and confidence that you're sticking to the build that you always had in mind and not falling behind in power level, solving that leveling problem I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Additionally, I thought the UI changes, adding the experience bar and the dialogue box in the bottom right was a great change and really honestly changed my perception of the whole game. It really did make it feel new and fresh, funnily enough, with such a minor tweak. It almost took me back to leveling back in my WoW days and seeing the little purple XP gain note down in the chat box. It is really unique to be able to see your progression real time while playing an Elder Scrolls game. Not something we're really accustomed to outside of the menus. Overall, Oblivion XP is a fantastic mod that reinvents the traditional leveling system and allows you to enjoy the game in a whole new way. So if you're ready to try something new the next time you're in Cyrodiil, give it a download and see how it changes your own experience. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to stop by my Twitch and second channel on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video and the mod. And as always, I will catch you on the next one.